All right, so let's go ahead and talk about some of the requirements to be successful in this Tri Django 3.2 series. The first and primary one is the willingness and the gusto to get through challenges when you inevitably face them. One of the biggest problems and one of the hardest things about learning how to code is continuing to go through the challenge after challenge. Now I walk you through step-by-step step and I've tested all this code, so it definitely should work if you do it correctly. But every once in a while, if you just misspell something in the wrong way or put a period in the wrong spot, it might break your entire system and it's really often very demoralizing. But speaking from someone who's gone through this a lot and also helped others go through it a lot, I do recommend that you just stick with it and power on through, maybe even restarting from scratch, from, from the very first video, coming and watching this all over again. It's honestly one of those things that once you learn how to do it, you're gonna laugh at some of the challenges that you hit before, but then also respect the fact that, hey, this is challenging not just for you, but it was challenging for me as well. It's no longer challenging anymore because I've moved past that, but I now face new challenges all the time because that's what software does. It's a really, really powerful and cool tool. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about some of the more practical requirements for this, although that is very practical. The very practical requirements is 30 days of Python. I want you to know at least a little bit about Python. And what I mean by that is at least knowing how to write classes, write functions, how variables work, how you can use dictionaries and lists and string substitution. So if you know those things, if that rings a bell to you, then you're probably ready to jump right in. Now it is nice to know a little bit about HTML and CSS. So by all means, check that out as well, or at least get some fundamental understanding of how those things work. But even if you don't know those, I will cover that at least a little bit when it's necessary as well. And so 30 days of Python, if you were gonna go through this series, you don't have to do the entire thing. In fact, you would probably stop maybe around day 13. So even just the first 11 days where you start talking about classes and state, that's probably enough. And of course, you could have learned Python from a variety of sources, whether it's on my website or right on YouTube, the exact same playlist is on there as well. Um, so those are the fundamental requirements to do it. Next, you wanna have a Mac, Windows, or Linux that can actually install Python 3 from python.org. It's a really good chance that you have one of these machines. In fact, even an older Raspberry Pi, like a Raspberry Pi 3 that was like a $25 computer should be able to do this entire series as well. Now, that is it for the requirements. Of course, if you have any questions, let me know. If there's something that's not clear about the requirements, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get Python installed.